just like can you search on can you go to the search bar there at the bottom and type uh, windows no microsoft store okay open the microsoft store now in that store um search terminal terminal search terminal Good. Let's open it. You see where it says Windows with yeah? the Windows terminal it says app. I think it's the fourth one on the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, there you go. Click there. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now let's click on it. That's it. That's it. okay. You see where it says get? Let's get. Mm -hmm. Get is equal to what? Get will download it for you. So get. And just hold on. So please, what try to always open your Ubuntu with the help of a terminal, so that you can open the way mine too is opening, right? Okay. There you so. go. Anyone else wants to share their screen after this? Because what I really want to see you guys do your pull request. This is a very hands-on, okay, uh, thing. And so, all right, good. So that's downloading. You guys have uh, a fast internet at night there. Eh? Open. Click open. Good. All right. Now, do you see the drop down beside the plus sign over there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Click on the drop down and select Ubuntu. So select Ubuntu. Perfect. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Excellent. All right. Now, let's what? Now, to do a pull request, you are, you are going to be required to clone a repository. All right? Yes, now, that's what. Uh, let me first of all see if you have access to this repository. Let's see. Mabu, do you have? Because if you don't have access, okay, yeah, I see you have access. So what? You'll be able to. No, 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 no. So you have not accepted the invite. Because of that, you will not be able to push. You are going to have, or what? You are going to get a. Permission denied. Okay, so to I do see. a pull request on a joint repo, you must you must be a member of that repository with read access with write access. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So either you can, you can you can go to your email now, and then you know you can try to you know, uh, like if you let's see, go to your inbox. Or go to the email, okay, that is associated with your GitHub account. Is it Outlook? Mm -hmm. What email do you use to create your account? To create your... My normal email, like my personal email. Good, so go to your personal email then. I see that uh, you will send an invite, so it's just for you to, to go to your inbox. Uh, I, I think that should be. Okay, can you search? Uh... Oh, no, that, that's over there. See, that's Odog, right? Odog invited you. Yes, sir. There you go. Click there. Please, if you have not, do it to what? Do it to accept it. View invitation? No. Go to versus view invitation. Oh. Scroll up. Okay, go to what view invitation. There you go. Excellent. Now it was what you have to be signed into your GitHub account. Yep. Then what you can accept invitation. Great. See that. Now that's what that is the repo. Do you see where it says code? Now what? Let us clone that repository. So if you click on that code, on the code right there, click there. Yeah, just what? Just copy the URL. Click there and what? And copy the. There you go. 
Now what, let's go back to your command line. So what, that is the process, okay? No, open your terminal, not that one. Terminal is good, okay? That's what, yes, that sir. is how you want you start the git process. First what, you clone the repository that you want to collaborate on, okay? Yes, so now let's clone the repo. What's the command that you're going to run to clone the repository? What's the command to run? Sorry. Is Sorry. exactly git clone, right? Yes, so sir. type git clone. And then uh, space, no, git clone, control V. Control V to paste the URL you copied, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, git clone, control V, space, control V. Enter. There you go. Excellent. Now, let's run, let's run LS there. Okay, you see that? Now we have what? Do you see? It says, uh, uh, it, says it says what? Okay, so that's what that's a repo, right? It says what class what? Class is free. Mm -hmm. Now let's what? Let's cd into that particular directory, cd into it. Into just type cl and then uh, hit the tab tab key. Hit the tab key. Yep, there you go. It auto completes, right? Yes, Enter. Sir. Okay. Now uh, run control plus to increase the font size so everybody can see what you're doing. Control plus. So press the control button. Yeah, there you go again. There you go. That's okay. That's it. Okay. Now what? Now that you are in the repo, let's run what run git lock. Then what you're going to see what you're going to see what everyone else has been doing on that repository. See that? Voila. Yes, you see that? So who was the who was the most recent uh, author to work on that repository? See that? At what time? You can see like the academy, right? Work on that repository. You can see what engineer produced. And what and all of that. So what those are the actors who are actively working on that repository. Now, when you run git lock, how can you get out of that loop? How can you get out of there? Just what, just press the press the Q button. Press the Q button. There you go. See that? So each time you run git lock, you what you will get into that loop. All you have to do is what is to press the Q button. Okay. Yes, now, sir. if you run LS there, okay, good. Let's what? Let's V into the file called uh, class 24. Oh, no, 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 that's what. Let's just uh, touch a file. Touch a file called Mambo. So, create a file called Mambo. Touch Mambo. There we go, right? Okay, good. Now what? How? What can we do now to add? So let's run what? Run, run git status now. <clears throat> git status. See that? Now yes, what sir. command? What command can you run now? To move that to the staging area. You run what? Run git add. Git add. Okay. No. Git add dot. Git at either git at mambo or git at dot. Okay. Dot, do a dot. Yeah, okay. there you go. Is it no? Yeah, it's fine. Still fine. That that's okay. No, not dot mambo. It's just mambo. Mambo. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now yes, that you I want you now. Now you, you want what you want to be able to create a branch because what? You want to do a pull request, right? And you cannot commit on the master branch. How can you confirm the branch on which you are working? Run git branch. Git branch. See that? You're what? You're working on, the master. on the master branch. Therefore, what? You don't want to commit on the master branch, right? 
So let's what, yes, let's sir. let's create a branch. What's the command? Git branch and then the branch name. Git branch and the branch name. Let's call it Mabu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Now let's confirm how many branches you have. Again, what's the command? Git branch. So if you press the up arrow key, you can you can just see the, the most recent command that you just typed. You don't have to always type this again over and over. Okay, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Hit enter. Now, how many branches do you have now? You have two branches, right? Branch. Yes, yes. Yeah. And the branch. Exactly. Now what? Let's switch to marble branch. What's the command? The command is git checkout. So run git checkout marble. Git checkout marble. Okay. Yes, there sir. you go. It says what? Switch to what? Switch to okay. marble branch, right? Yes. Sir. Now we can commit our work at this moment. That's what run git commit. Git commit. Okay. Space. No. Okay. Good. <clears throat> okay. Now. You see how it says, tell me who you are? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, this is exactly what happens. Okay, why? Because what? It is going to record you, you know, as an author on the system. So what? It needs to know, hey, who is about to save this work? If something was to go wrong, who are we going to hold responsible? All right. So... Do you see the ex do you see where it says run and then you see those those two commands? You can what you can just copy it and paste and then change the you example.com to your email and do the same thing for your name. See the example I'm talking about? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. See that? Mm -hmm. Now you can what you can copy that from git config. You can copy all of that first line and paste it and what just change just the Yep, there you go. Copy that. No, just the first line. Copy. Everything plus the code. Yep, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, paste it there. Just do a, a control V. Okay. Oh, you know what? No worry. Maybe, so let's what? Let's just run git config, okay? So type that is fine now. Good. Now let's what in that bracket, change that email to your email. Just click anywhere there and use what. So use learn to learn to use your arrow keys. It's going to be so easy. Okay, sir. So. Use the arrow keys. Bring your arrow key. Bring your bring your cursor in in those brackets. Perfect. Now what? Hit the back arrow key now. Back arrow is going to delete, right? Perfect. See that? Now what? Stop there. Then what? Type your email now. So like my personal email. Any email you want. You know, it can just be a, a fake email even to say okay. Okay, now hit enter. Great. Perfect. Okay, now let's what? Let's copy the second command that has to with, with your name. So again, if you just go up again, there you go. Copy that and what? Paste it and then what? Use your cursor. Don't use the mouse. Just use your, use your arrow keys. Yep, there you go. Backspace. Mm. 
actually no. Okay, good. Now that's what. Let's again what. Let's do our commit, right? Let's do git again. Git commit. No, git commit. That's a command. Git git commit. Okay. Commit is double M. And then what? Space. No, no, no. Space. Hyphen M. Okay, and then what? Uh, space again. Now open two brackets, like open, you know, two brackets. Is it no? Double quote, not the bracket, okay? Double quote. So, yeah, there you go. Open one again. And then in between those quotes, type anything there. Say what? This is what? This is my first PR. Signed Mabo. Engineer Mabo. Can you imagine? <laughs> Next day, you surely have a job at MTN. Working as a new DevOps engineer. You know? Maybe. Okay, good job. Now what? Let's press enter. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Uh, it looks like... Okay. Hold on one second. Why is it saying that you run that again? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I get it. Ah. Oh, no. Okay, so this is where you made the mistake, right? Now go back, copy the one that says name, not email, because what it's like you you oh, you copy yeah. you, you copy yeah exactly. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Mr. Moses. That's good attention seeking. So copy that one, the one that has dot name, not okay. The user dot name. Copy it. Anyway, I, I I appreciate you though because not everybody has his courage. Okay, copy that. But you guys can bear me witness, right? This is how you're supposed to learn, you know. The ones that has to be done in class like this, what we do it now, just run control V. And what? All you have to do is what exactly now what? Just change that and put your name there. No, make sure, yeah. <clears throat> okay, now just what? Uh, run the up arrow key. Press the up arrow key. The up arrow key on your keyboard. Again? No, it's okay, it's fine. Now what? Hit enter there. Perfect. See that? It now what? It went through. Now, do you see it says one file change, zero in session, zero deletion? That's what? That is Git versioning. Now what? Run Git lock to see if your commit was recorded. Okay, git lock. There you go. Do you see that? The, yes, the most what? The most recent comment is what? Is that of Marble, right? When is the blah, 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 blah. Now, do you see that it actually recorded your own time? Like now mm -hmm. it's 2 a.m., right? Yes. Exactly. This is, what, this is proof that what I like, git is a distributed version control system. Now, let's push. So what? How do you get out of there again? Yeah. Exactly. See that? Very easy. So I can't wait to see people <laughs> post, posting on the help text. You know, I can't get out of here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. All right. Now, let's see what we got now. Let's, well, let's push. So again, or type git branch to see what branch you're working on. Because what that's the branch you're going to push to. Please. This video where I'm directing her is one of the most important video on what? On pull request. You want to keep it somewhere. Now what? Let's run git push. By the way, okay, let's what? Let's confirm the branch we are on. Let's run. I mean, the, what, the URL, right? Let's run what? Let's run git remote dash v, git 
remote hyphen v git remote space hyphen v enter okay great so now do you see that the alias is origin right let's run what now let's push right let's run what let's run git push origin git push origin uh marble okay now it's going to ask for your username good so let's go to your github okay let's go to your github account Let's go what? Let's go and so we are going to do two things. First, we're going to what? We're going to first of all create what? Create your personal access token because you need that to be able to okay to push. Yes. Sir. Okay. So um, go to your GitHub. Go to your GitHub. That is. Yeah, thank you so much, Pascal. That was a good one. Does it mean now that it now registers the email as my bomb rather than? No, oh, yeah, it's still fine. It's still okay. It's just, but you no, know what she can what she can always okay correct that. Oh no, open your GitHub account. Like go to the browser and open your GitHub account there. I don't know if it was the uh, Microsoft Edge or Google. I think if yeah there you go yeah that it is okay so let's maximize that page okay now what uh if you go to your profile section do you see where it says settings i cannot see it from here no profile section um, This is taking quite long. Oh, okay. No, what? Um, press the back arrow key from where you are. No, the like the, the back arrow button. The like they go back on the browser, right? The the back mm -hmm. arrow. Mm -hmm. Great. Now. If you go up to, do you see that at the at the other corner, you you see a profile section there. There you go. Perfect. Now let's what let's go to settings. So what? That's what. So your yeah, what? Your username is what? Your username is Marble Love, right? But what? Let's go ahead and create what your personal access token. So go down to developer settings on that same line. Scroll down to developer settings. So scroll down on the other side. Yeah, you, you're going to scroll down. There you go. See that? Click what? Click on developer settings. And then what? Let's click on what? Yeah, person as token. Then what? Classic token. Excellent. I like that. Okay. Again, go to the other end. And what? Click on. Did you get what? Classic token. There you go. Okay. Now, just give your token a name. Give a token a name. Okay. There you go. And then what? Just select. Uh, do, you, do you see where it says repo? Select what? Select everything on the repo. Just just click on repo. There you go. And then let's scroll down and create the token. Perfect. So what we have done almost three things here. Get our token for authentication, right? Good. Now you want to copy that token. Copy it and I'll show you where to save it. Copy the token. Okay. Now uh let's just minimize that page for now. We'll come back there when we push. Okay. Now what I'm going to show you guys, okay, an yes, editor sir. on your laptop. That you can use now let's search for notepad notepad the, the, there's an app on your computer called notepad just start typing notepad 
Uh, that's what now run control V. Okay. There you go. Now run what type control S to save it. Just no, just run control S. Okay, just save it. Don't worry. Just click on save. See that now what your token is saved on your computer. Save it. There you go. Okay. Is it saved? Mm. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe you can change the name because you can call it my token or anything. Okay. And what now you can what you can save it. Good. Makes sense. So that's what let's uh, minimize that. Now where it says name what type what type marble. No, marble love, right? That's that's what that's yeah, it's what marble love. That's what that's username, marble love. Now hit enter. Okay, now what? Just just run control V and just enter. Control V once and enter. Enter. There you go. Perfect. See that? Now what? You're what? You've been able to create your first pull request. Now, do you see how it says create a pull request for what? For marble on here by visiting blah, 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 like that. Now what? Yes, Let's go back to GitHub again. Maybe I, I should unmute everybody so that we can have a conversation. Let's go back. Go back to your GitHub now. I want. I'm going to allow your mics. Okay. Let's do it together. It's good to have a conversation. I love this type of session because it just, you know, I make everybody a lecturer. Mm -hmm. There we go. So now you can what you can contribute if you want. Okay. So let's what let's. Uh, uh, okay now. Just hit again on the back arrow on the browser and well, let's go to the repository itself. There you go again. Oh, you know what? Just what? Just click. So do you see the, the, the GitHub icon uh, logo just beside settings there? Perfect. Let's click there. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, so it says what? Top what? Top. Repository. If you just look at below that, you what you see what the Lion Tech Class D3. Let's click on that on that repository. Now, see that? Do you see? It says what? Marble had what? One recent push, right? One recent yes. push. It says what? Create, compare, and what? And create pull request. Now what? Let's click on there. Click on compare and create pull request. See that now you can what you can add a title, you can add description, you can assign the most important aspect of a pull request is what is there is the part where you have to assign reviewers. And in the corporate world or really in a working environment, you are you will not proceed unless you are what your reviewers have given you feedback. They have to review. Okay, and you cannot merge your own pull request. That's not best practice. Now, do you see where it says reviewers? If you click on reviewers, click on reviewers. There you go. You can what? You can select anybody. Just and you can what? You can type. Okay. How about you make a uh, make Udwak? So search for Udwak. Start typing U. U D. Yep, make what? Make Udwak here. If you see that, there you go. Select Udwak. And then what? You can leave a comment there. So where it says write, you can say what? Please what? Please review my pull request and provide feedback. Right? And then what? Udwak is going to get an email notification that, what? that a pull request has been assigned to her. Very, very important interview question walk me through the process of creating a pull request this is what you just did okay now what you come down and what, click on what create pull request now Udwak, i want you to immediately 
okay you know what merge that pull request review it leave a comment and merge see that there you go that what that becomes the the best practice Okay, so what you have what you have been able to create your pull request. Now, through this process, did anybody does anyone has a question? Joe, is it clear? Uh, okay, let's see that. Yes, Moses. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> good morning, sir. Yeah. Well, okay. Today I had a, a wonderful experience when it comes to this particular push origin. Okay. So as at the time that I I signed in my push push uh push origin request, then the next thing but the I just saw it pop out of like